よしできたジュゲームジュゲームうんこ嘆きおとといのしんちゃんのパンツシンパチの人生バルムンクフェザリオンアイザック・シュナイダー3分の1の純情な感情の残った3分の2は逆向けが気になる感情裏切りは僕の名前を知っているようで知らないのを僕は知っているルス・スルメ・メダカ・カズノコ・コエダメ・メダカこのメダカはさっきと違うやつだから池のメダカの方だからラー油・ユーテー・ニアオー・キムコーペペペペペペペペペペペペビチグソマル投げよう What it do, guys? Space Out Jobs here, and welcome back to another Seiyu Highlights. On this episode, we will be talking about another voice actress in the industry, Fumiko Orikasa. Also, goes by the nickname Oririn, Fumin, or simply Orisa by her fans and peers. Sounds unfamiliar? Perhaps. Since she played characters such as Rukia Kuchiki in Bleach, Risa Hawkeye in Full Metal Alchemist, Sarah's Victoria from the Hellsing series, and one of the other top five anime characters that Eminem were too afraid to disc, Yaku Kyubei from Gintama. She's a Japanese voice actress, actress, and singer who is part of the Atomic Monkey Talent Agency. Her birthday is December 27, 1974, and she's a Tokyo native who lives in Taito City in Japan. She's quite a veteran voice actress of herself, having played in numerous supporting and main roles, including animation films and video games. Such as Chiyoko Fushiwara in Millennium Actress and Chun Li in Street Fighter. In addition to a dozen dubbing roles, including Gabriela Montez in the Japanese dub of the High School Musical series. Although she was not very active in her musical career, having two singles and four studio albums under the record label j i n e o n Entertainment. She does have a very common charm, just like any other voice actresses in the industry. That is, her ability to switch between a truly young and innocent social voice to, quite frankly, pretty tomboyish lead female characters, which makes her character, k y u b e i from Gintama, quite an interesting pick. Since she was supposed to be born as a female, But was forced to be considered as a male accordingly to her long line of family tradition. But then she decided to overcome this reality and just be herself, which she ended up getting into a really close, almost Yuri like relationship with her childhood friend, Simurate. Also, throughout several arcs of the series, she still finds herself struggling with her gender identity, and at the same time, Having almost killed several people with her anthrophobia while undergo training like a swordsman who vows to protect her loved ones. Which was pretty apparent in the Deco Buckle arc, where her gender swapped identity means that she got to experience what it's like to be a true hero with an analog stick between her legs trying to do. you know, that stuff. Or in other instances, She played a cute vampire police officer gunslinging big effing artillery rounds at neo Nazi warmongers. Yeah. Other than that, besides looking fairly similar to Hori Yui, meanwhile, earning her skill points as a dancer and a sign language interpreter who loves to go shopping. Orikasa san has brought us a breath of fresh air into our favorite characters. We wish her the best of luck and plenty more exciting roles ahead. Guys, as always, thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to drop a like, leave a comment, and if you can, hitting that subscribe button only takes one click to support the odd jobs on new content. That's another wrap for the Seiyu highlights. I'm Space Odd Jobs, and I shall see you on the flip side.